I'm sorry, the video cut out. I must have hit a uh, key on my keyboard. So I'm just going to quickly go over what I finished off with. Um, from 0.25 to 0.75, it is this slope of this secant here, where this is my delta Y, that's my delta X. Again, something I could have asked in eighth grade math. The biggest thing I wanted to talk about this problem is it says describe the position of the police car um, with regard to time between 9 o'clock and 12 o'clock. So between here and here, they want me to describe the position of the police car. You read the question, things above the line are to the north, things below the line are to the south. Moving away from the x-axis is moving away from the police station. Moving towards the x-axis is moving towards the police station. What I get is from 9 to about 10.10, that's right here, he's driving away from the police station to the north. From 10.10 10 to here, which is um, 11.40, he's driving to the south. He actually makes it to the police station at 11, and at 11 to 11.40, he keeps driving to the south. Then 11.40 to 12, he's heading north, and he ends up being 15 miles away from the police station because this right here was negative 15 on the graph. Okay, other problem I did was problem 13. Um, and again, I'm sorry, I'm gonna walk through this slowly. They gave me a position function. Part one said to graph it. So I did a quick reminder on how do I graph things? If it's quadratic, I expect you to be able to graph it. So the x coordinate of the vertex is at the line of symmetry, which is at negative b over 2a. That would be at the opposite of 9, which is 9 over 4, which is 2 and a quarter. So I drew my line of symmetry in. Then I put the 9 fourths into my original equation. I used a calculator and got 1 and 7 eighths. So 9 fourths and 1 and 7 eighths gave me that dot. Okay. Then my little shortcut I gave you, it's over 1, up A, over 2, up 4A. So over A is 2. So I went over 1, which would be at 1 and a quarter, and I went up 2, which puts me the dot right here. I did that on both sides, and that gave me my graph. They tell you the position Anything above the x-axis is moving to the right of some position. So what, what they've got actually going on here is you have an object where I have right and I have left. Okay, This is a zero. This is negative numbers. This is positive numbers. What is actually happening here is at time zero, my object is 12 units away. How did I get the 12? From the original equation. Put a zero in there. Then it starts to move this way, and it gets all the way until it is 1 and 7 eighths away. And then it starts to go back that way. So that's what the object is actually doing from this graph up here. Okay, I just want you to realize that that's what's happening. So now let's do part B. Part B says find the velocity function. Velocity function is just the derivative. I multiplied by the exponent, got 4t, subtract 1 of the exponent, gives me t to the first. And then negative 9t, its slope would be negative 9. Um, then it wanted to know, when is the object moving to the left? Well, it's moving to the left, if I drew this picture here, it's moving to the left on this region of the graph. When it's ever it's moving down on this graph, it's moving to the left, and it's moving to the right here. So it's moving to the left from zero to two and a quarter seconds. So it's moving to the left here, and it's moving to the right from zero I mean, from two and a quarter to three seconds. And again, that's because they gave me that restriction on there. 
Then they ask, what was the velocity and acceleration at time one? Well, velocity of one, I'm just going to put a one into that function. So I get four minus nine, which is negative five feet per second. Well, I need the acceleration function. The acceleration function is the derivative of the velocity function. The derivative of 4t minus 9 is just 4. So my velocity is always 4 feet per second. They asked me to graph the velocity function, which I did as I put a negative 9. Then I went over 1, up 4, over 1, up 4, drew my straight line. They asked when the speed was increasing. Well, the speed is increasing whenever my velocity graph goes uphill. This graph is always going uphill. So on the 0 to 3 interval, I'm always increasing. So that was the other example that I wanted to work through. Um, hopefully that's enough to get you through the homework. Thank you.